Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. If I sound a little excited today, it's because I just got my shipping notification for the Tab S8 Ultra, so I'm super stoked to get that in. But that's not what today's video is about. So I've been a Samsung diehard since the early days. I mean, we're going all the way back to the S3. Still works. All the way back to the Note 2. Still works. And, uh, you know, I've had all the S series up through the S9 Plus. I've had all the notes, up, almost all the notes, other than obviously the 7, and I didn't get the 8 either, all the way up through the Note 20 Ultra. And my favorite phone of all time, and that's even uh, throwing in a few apples here and there, is a Samsung Galaxy Fold 3, Z Fold 3. This is by far my favorite phone of all time. I just love this phone. There's so many reasons. Let's just get into, let, here, let's get the cons out of the way real quick. The cons are well known to everyone. The battery life, the cameras, and the crease itself. All right, the battery life gets me about a day. And depending on, you know, what your usage is, you might get a day, you may not. You know, it's not the greatest. There's room for improvement. It's kind of to be expected when you have a 7.6 inch screen like this. But then again, you know, it's not the greatest. And the cameras, you know, they're okay. They're S20-ish give or take. Um, I don't use the under display camera for anything really um, because basically you can use any cameras you want on the whole device, front, under display, and the three in the back for your selfies because you can view on any screen you want. That's like really the only negatives about this. Let's talk about so many of the positives other than the obvious here. I mean, just look at this beautiful screen. I mean, you're basically holding a miniature tablet in your hands here and it is beautiful. You know, with a screen this size, it really is a lot like a tablet. I mean, you know, let's bring this in the picture. Here's the iPad mini six. You throw this right on top of it. Look at that. Look at that. So you're basically getting a tablet and a phone in one, which is absolutely fantastic when you want to consider your tablet options, because now that you have a small tablet and a phone already, you can just focus on getting something big like this big bad boy right here, the S7 plus, it's going to get replaced by the tab S8 ultra. If I didn't have this little fold like this, I would want a smaller tablet. This, this other tablet, the iPad, that's my fiance's, it's not mine. So like, I would have to make the decision. Do I want to make a compromise with getting something that's just a little bit bigger, the nine to 10 inch area, maybe the S8, which is only what, like 11 inches or something like that. I don't have to make that type of decision because I've already got a small tablet, which is great around the house. You know, let's keep it real. You go to the bathroom with this, go plop on the couch. It's nice and light, it's super light. It's super thin, as you can see. Look how thin this is. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how thin this is. And when you have it open like this, the weight really distributes nice. It's very even weight distribution, a lot more so than when you close it up. When you close it up, it gets a little bit heavy. But what I'm getting at is this is just such a nice viewing experience while you're at home, on the go. I mean, look at this. You open up your camera. Look at this viewfinder. Look at this. It's mammoth, it's huge. Look at all the options you have. Put it here. Now I have all the camera controls on the bottom and the viewfinder at the top. Flip it back open, switch it back to another mode. Um, let's take a look at a couple other apps as well, just while we're circling around here, taking a look at it. Let's open up, uh, let's open up Spotify real quick. This is what you normally see on a phone. You know, this full view right here, we go into tablet mode. You know, you have everything, your likes, songs, all this type of stuff. Go to your search, your music library. Let's talk about YouTube real quick. So when I open up YouTube here and watch a video, the top portion of this video, let me click on the comments here. The top portion of this video is basically like the size of taking a regular slab phone and putting it sideways into landscape mode and putting it on top of the Fold 3 here. And what does that mean? You're watching the equivalent of a slab phone in landscape while being able to troll your comments. I mean, I flip and love that. I, I use it more in this view than I do and put it in full screen like this. I just prefer it. Here's full screen too, in case any of you guys haven't seen it. Looks about like that. You can uh, pinch to zoom as well, but that's full screen mode. So I love that. And then uh, when you switch over to the cover mode, you know, go to the screen here. Can open it back up, sit it like this, flick over, or if you have the comments already open, they'll be open on this side, so you can go ahead and just troll the comments while you're looking at your screen. Let's look at another cool thing this phone does. I'm just going over all these little things 
that just, I, I don't know, I just can't get over it about this phone. It really is just sweet. So turn on the flashlight, bam, out of the campsite, something like that. You, you need a little bit of light to do your reading, whatever it may be, there you go. Shine your light, whatever. You wanna take some pictures of somebody. Let me turn off this light real quick. Kick on this uh, tablet. You wanna take pictures, you just go ahead and prop the phone up. You have your own tripod. Prop it up like this. You have your own tripod. Up like this, however you want. I mean, it goes in so many different directions. It can be used for anything. And you just wave your hand to take a picture. So, I mean, I really love this phone. I, it's been the best phone I've owned. The only th things that I don't really like is that the S Pen does not get siloed. So you end up having to buy a case, something like this. This is a, um, by a company called Future. This is a Future case. This just slides out the top like this, right? Goes back in there and has a kickstand right here. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon, but it works pretty legit. It does the job pretty good. But um, the plus side of having it stored externally is that you get a full-size S Pen which is a lot, nicer to, lot nicer to write with than something like this. Let's pull out this bad boy. You know, here's what you get with the Note. Then you get this full S Pen right here. Look at the size difference. So this one is definitely much easier to write with. Definitely prefer it. Let's put this back in here. In addition to these things, even like little things like navigation, you know, when you're using maps, you're able to see three or four turns instead of one or two. So from a, from a safety standpoint, that is awesome as well. And I've had this phone since launch. Um, so far, no issues. The hinge is holding up well. Here, let me uh, fold this in front of the mic so you guys can hear it. Folding. Okay, not bad. Another nice aspect about having a device with this size of screen, let me reach out of view here and grab something. Thankfully, although this is a, basically a tablet, it's still just small enough to fit in many of these controllers. So, you can do some real gaming after you turn the power on. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. <laughs> Playing like crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Awesome. I mean, look at that size. Just sitting on your couch with this bad boy like this, you know, it's a lot nicer than playing with a large tablet too, to where you have to have the tablet sitting on something in front of you while you're using like an Xbox controller. Here, it's just right in front of your face. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, it looks so awesome. So do I recommend the Fold 3 even uh, six months later? Yeah, absolutely. At the price it's going for now, you can get this down to about 1200 bucks off Amazon. I definitely recommend it. Again, you know, it's not the greatest cameras, like I mentioned. Then again, if I'm doing some real photography, I just grab my Canon, you know, throw a nifty 50 lens on there and call it a day, bring the right tool to the right job. So I don't really care about this being, trying to be like a professional photography type device, you know, it takes plenty good enough pictures to take pictures of my kids and, you know, doing their sports events and all that kind of stuff. It's totally good. And it's nice previewing the, the pictures on here too, you know, um, geez, it's just huge. Let's pull some up right here real quick. What do we got here? Just look at this. It's awesome. It's flipping awesome. All right. So, yes, I do definitely recommend it. I think the Fold 4 is going to make a lot of people a lot more happier because then the, the S Pen will get siloed. You know, and I think a lot of people are really chomping at the bit for that to happen. But I still think this is a great device. So, you know, if you're not a big S Pen user, like I'm not, I just take I just take notes for these videos and stuff like that, but other than that, I don't use the S Pen much. So for me, it wasn't much of a deciding factor. And if you're not a big S Pen user, yeah, grab it. I mean, if you're into big screens, 
if you want a big screen like this, be able to close it up. You know, you can still do most of your stuff here. It's not a big deal. This outer screen isn't bad. It, it gets harped on all the time. You can watch videos and all this stuff on it. You can make your phone calls. It's all, it's all legit. Everything's fine. Yeah, I, I definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend picking it up. Stay tuned for a lot of Tab S8 Ultra content coming up. And as always, thanks for watching.